and I'm here to welcome you all to the Teacher's Day celebration. At the outset, I would like to request our Chief Guest, Lieutenant General Dr. Madhuri Kanitkar, Director Professor Shirish Kedare, Dean of Alumni and Corporate Relations Professor Ravindra Gudi, Dean of Faculty Affairs Professor Neela Nataraj, Associate Dean of Research and Development Professor Upendra Bandarkar, to kindly come to the days, please. I now request Professor Kedare to welcome as well as introduce our chief guest to the audience, please. So welcome to this uh, function, Teacher's Day function, which is one of the major function in our life, right? Because, because you know. Uh, and uh, so I welcome our chief guest, Dr. Madhuri Kanitkar, who is a Lieutenant General and she is a doctor herself and uh, vice chancellor of a university. My fellow colleagues and uh, students, some of them. So uh, welcome to this function. Today is a teacher's day. And uh, of course, you know that uh, we distribute excellence in teaching awards today, as well as we have uh, Professor P.K. Patwardhan Research Award. And we also have uh, 1973 batch technology innovation awards so these are the three awards that we are doing and typically the students performance awards we give in uh, november education day so being a teacher is a ex ex interesting profession i won't say much but i'll i'll say that uh, yeah teachers don't just tell it's not information which is important. And so uh, we are re-looking at teachers' teaching and learning process. We have installed a committee and uh, I think we have started visiting, discussing this issue of teaching and learning and of course assessing in the new scenario of AI and a uh, lot of material on web and all that thing. So that I have already said, but uh, how do we improve upon it? And actually being an interesting experience in learning, because teachers just don't tell, they raise curiosity, right? We should be able to, while teaching, we should be able to uh, raise curiosity. So I do sometimes drama. I say that, okay, the world, world uh, derivation is like this and like this. And then what's the final result? Wait, we'll do it in the next lecture. So this kind of drama also I do sometimes. So that we have to do. So we have to raise curiosity. But uh, more than that, we have to uh, teach to learn. So in our uh, uh, GE open house, where uh, all the students come to log into IIT Bombay slot and we explain what is IIT Bombay there. We just brief them about various things and I told them that it's about learning to learn. So IIT Bombay teaches you to learn and that's what I also experienced. Whatever it was told in the class, I don't think I remember, but how it was done, what is the process and what we learned from is took us ahead in life. So we teachers have to teach to learn, but more than that, we have to teach to understand and uh, how, what is understanding. So I, I try to tell students that it's uh, correlating things, uh, developing a perspective. So understanding the thing as it is, looking at the process of the things, so if you can excite them to look at the process and not the symptoms, that's another thing. But finally, I think we have to take an effort so that the students realize, right? It's a big word. So realization is a big thing. So if they start their process on that path, that's what guru is. So this is a teacher's day and welcome to the teacher's day. For uh, outsiders, if any, maybe 
only professor kanetkar and others so iit bombay is a very good excellent institute first in qs ranking in uh, india 118 in qs writing uh, ranking and then engineering wise we are within 50 and and what not i need not tell you we should not be bothered about that we should look at the process so uh, this year we have some more achievements uh, there are some two important faculty accomplishment our faculty professor rohit shrivastav is a recipient of prestigious rashtriya vigyan puraskar vigyan shri for year 2024 in technology and innovation and uh, professor vikram vishal is a recipient of prestigious national geo science award and uh, yes so we will give uh, we will appreciate by a flower <laughs> so and uh, yesterday there was a indian uh, national association of uh, in engineers uh, fellows declared and we have we know that uh, uh, well uh, five of us have got the fellowships so that is another thing we and then one important thing is uh, our dean acr we have international research award and tony quick dr tony quick from singapore has been uh, awarded that award so we will you know, bestow that award today and uh, of course we will have excellence in teaching awards and we will have uh, pk patwardhan award and 1973 batch award at that time respective deans will tell us about it so uh, let me introduce our guest our chief guest is lieutenant general dr madhuri kanetkar retired she insists on that is a highly decorated and now retired general officer in the indian army she was 39 years in service she is the third woman right so it's not easy to be in front and she is the third woman in the indian armed forces to be promoted to a three star rank so that's yes she last served as the deputy chief of integrated defense staff medical under the chief of defense staff dr kanetkar served on the prime minister science technology and innovation advisory council and uh, on 6 july 2021 almost 3 years back she was appointed the vice chancellor of maharashtra university of health sciences muhs nashik by the government of maharashtra so she is vice chancellor of muhs and uh, she has been an academician she was a gold medalist uh, uh, as a graduate student and she also got kalinga trophy for excellence in academics uh, and uh, we also work with her on a project called betik maybe betik you know so i am very glad that she was here and uh, will address her about our experience and uh, during her last part of tenure ship she many mainly the administrative work is done and in that she has been a teacher so that's also interesting and she has been in the training uh, training the cadres so she is really an academician not just by uh, being a vice chancellor so welcome so i invite uh, dr madhuri to give her speech and uh, she is also a good cook <laughs> well i like to experience first time sometime yes <laughs> thank you being here thank you uh, professor shirish for firstly inviting me and before i proceed with my talk i invite you to nasik ukdi che modak karun khayla galin <laughs> so uh i'll come with my deans yes <laughs> most welcome absolutely handmade ha huh. uh firstly it's a great honor and a pleasure to be here and my heartiest congratulations to all the teachers who've got been awarded this year and i'm sure many every year a lot of them receive awards and those who are still to give award they are already on the running blocks so firstly i compliment uh, the institute for uh, encouraging teaching because today uh, there is a lack of good teachers who can bring out the best in students 
students are clay they have all students are excellent it is the teachers who do not you know come up to the mark for them so when while all of you had options of being anywhere else doing anything else you chose to be here as teachers my compliments to you and i cherish that role that i have played most and therefore i thought on this day when i was asked to address and be here on this important uh, you know occasion let me share my journey of being a teacher and i thought i'll share it as a, a reflection of what i did been there done that and i thought uh, while paying you know we celebrate teachers day because those in look at the yester years the top in politics the top in you know nurturing and creating or building this nation were teachers whether it was whether it was sarvapalli radhakrishnan our ex president on whose birthday we celebrated and another real you know renowned and respected teacher was professor abdul kalam and i think uh, and therefore i would like to start by respecting him as well who said learning gives creativity creativity le leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge and knowledge makes you great and that's i quote uh, abdul kalam so with that i thought i'll just quickly i was given about 20 minutes and the outline i put that i the views expressed are entirely those of the speaker to share a experience of over 40 years with like minded teachers who put teaching as a passion and put before yourself but i also want to say that i was given the nickname of hitler 2 by my children hit 2 and and therefore i ro put that role always that teaching and parenting are similar there is nothing very pleasant about it if you are goody goody you can't get the best out of so sometimes you have to be fun you have to play along but you have to also be firm so therefore i thought i'll cover role of a teacher my own journey how i changed with time because i started off as a doctor then a pediatrician a pediatric nephrologist a super specialist and then went back into a teaching and an administrative teaching role so it's been an evolution and the message to share so if you look at ask any you know look at the internet which uh, today chat gpt i gives you all the answers so i looked at what does a teacher supposed to do perfect role model catalyst for change good listener creates a joyful and conducive atmosphere subtle facilitator effective delegator nurtures inspiration centered and relaxed wow that's a heartful teacher so is teaching an art or a science so i, I let's uh, try and answer that so i thought uh, we know that today knowledge is doubling and with the iot it's supposed to be every 12 hours so teachers can definitely not provide information gone are the days where teachers inform because you didn't have other google baba teaching you so teachers can only facilitate learning so let's firstly have remove any doubts in our mind that we are teaching we are facilitating learning and therefore the biggest role i think today which students look up to and therefore it's really fantastic that you've developed a module of finding the best teacher because i think the perfect role model is nutshell of everything that teach students look out in a teacher and that is when information changes to knowledge which they do repeated degree after degree undergraduate postgraduate phd postdoc it never finishes you're just collecting degrees and your hair grows gray by the time you get some wisdom so i think can we sort of expedite that and besides this information knowledge chakkar that uh, goes on uh, can we also produce good citizens i think that's an important job for every teacher and can we give a subtle message do not learn only to earn because i finally yes money is important but money doesn't buy happiness so i think it is important somewhere that they see that role also in us so my own journey was like uh, you know all 39 years in uniform and last 3 years in teaching out of uniform was the first 78 to 21 from this thing was pretty simple and if you see i put that as evolution because you know the truant student all bent and then you are really ramrod straight by the time you are a professor you have a huge command but then by the time you become hod and get some administration you start bending again <laughs> and then uh, a deal like you are really bent and vice chancellor you are bent backwards because you are having so many other things so then you have to keep reminding yourself you had a passion to begin with so i think this is important but my biggest jump was when i had a choice 
from a central state of being deputy chief with the late General Bipin Rawat handled, you know, a huge, the tri-services uh, operation, Kojit for COVID and done big things to come to a state, you know, even the governor asked me, ki ye Sardat kai ko le rahi ho? So I told him, kyunki mene Sardat liya nahi hai, diya hai, sir, ek ye bhi koshish karti ho. So that was my journey. So basically, I think that all of us keep looking out and I was in a search of a new role and I quote Dolly Patterson, which said, if you have actions, create a legacy that inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, then you're an excellent leader. So maybe somewhere there was that little desperation, unleft, uh, you know, desire. And also that I thought that am I, what do I have? I have, you know, been an uh, advisor in the Board of Governors, uh, Medical Council of India. I'm on the Prime Minister's technical advisory. So I've got this domain knowledge and I have a choice of two, bucket list and being a very happy grandmother and spending full time or being the vice chancellor and like I said, giving some headache. And I said, I'll do both. So I said, I can weekdays, I'll give headache and weekend I'll relieve the headache. So, uh, and in that, I think all of us, what we need to do is, and I quote Spencer Johnson, who moved my cheese, it's an old book now. If you do not change, you become extinct. Catalyst for change. So you need to keep changing as a teacher. So now I'll quickly run through that, you know, science and research and this thing was there, but it was with small things. So whether it's creating and finding solutions, uh, saving small babies, it started as a young faculty and that taught me that even small steps can make a difference. But went into pediatric nephrology, finding the gaps first and addressing them and producing protocols for resource limited situations was a nice thing to do. So where there is a will, there is a way. But more important lesson learned was finding solutions which I think are very relevant and I've realized that I can't do it alone and I need the brilliant minds of IIT to find solutions and that my quest goes on and the solutions need to be a fast. I just mentioned it, affordable, feasible, acceptable, sustainable. So that was something I moved on to but also realized the next role that a teacher has to be a subtle fast facilitator and the I has to go away because from illness when the I go and we come in then comes in real greatness and collaboration was important to get any kind of better publications or get anything and this is the stream that goes on even today and then went on to a Again, basic sciences, having mentoring my younger students who took on, you know, their PhDs and we went on to basics and did a lot of research, but more important, thought multidisciplinary. And for the first time, a pediatric nephrologist created a sleep lab and started looking at yoga nidra and got a, we just published it in PLOS. So imagining myself enjoying new cheese even before I find it leads me to it. So that got me addicted and I think it, that, that bug is there in each one of you that you want to do something more because you start liking what you're doing. So when that happened and I landed up being professor and head of the department. So that came in the first time for nurturing inspiration. One of the roles we just saw in that cartoon in the beginning. And that's when important to, and this team that you see was back then in 2006. They're all professors and heads themselves. And I, and today, I, my uh, mobiles have flooded with the messages from them. And I think that's the thing that most of you all are getting today. And that's the pleasure you get, that you nurtured inspiration. And today, they're all super specialists and various doing great jobs. And they all send you a small little note to say, ma'am, I'm doing this because of you. But I remember to do it to my own teachers. So I think that is important. And you have to be as a teacher, you have to start thinking big. So you have to be a catalyst for change. So I said, now I'm head of the department. Can I, for the first time, I thought of creating a vision roadmap. I'm very happy to say that everyone after me, because Nami, you move on, they continued to, and the department has flourished and is doing absolutely achieved, not just 2020, but they've created a next for 2030, because they are my students who are now over there. So that is being a catalyst for change, from starting with that little corridor, Niku, to having state of the art. The, you know, it's your pleasure doubles when your students start doing better than you. And then came in this subspeciality. So the vision bug caught me to creating vision documents and therefore created a vision document for the armed forces when I went into administration as to how should we develop subspecialities. And then this is like, and look at the mother hen sitting in between with her little flock. And all of them are DMs in various, and we have the Center for Advanced Pediatric Medicine at the RNR, which was never heard of, and that's called Vatsalya. So this is how a teacher can dream big and let their students enact it and still derive pleasure. What a thing to be a teacher. 
and then to create happy teams because the smell the cheese you have to smell it often you have to see your team what is happening and you have to do it enough because otherwise you should know when it is getting old so this was at base hospital delhi and for that i think every teacher needs to keep an open mind i call it like in i don't know if uh, iit has it but a lot of colleges and uh, university has 80% attendance and i kept wondering why 80% because statistically 80% means almost 100% but more important i think it's the pareto principle your friends your reading your activities your life if you divide it into an 80 20 basket you are very happy and you do and you keep an open mind so the fun comes in having this funda of 80 20 and more important for a teacher to ensure he or she him herself has this left and right sided brain developing because on one hand we have scientists we all have science but there's no science without art and logic so therefore if you have science knowledge time decision making attitude reasoning logic structure which is all left brain you need language religion family art culture food for thought music personal space to keep yourself balanced and i think this is the principle i learned early and followed it as a teacher and a teacher needs to keep going back so after being professor and head i went back to do research in medical education technology with the philadelphia famer fellowship which had contact programs and this so i think you have to learn and learn and read on and thereafter i came back very strong as the dean and i think that was the feather in the, i was just asked which was your happiest moment and i think it was and i think i can see the smile on the director's face when you come back to your alma mater heading it and you have the entire canvas and this is where you want to take so there i thought then the wisdom had started coming in the strands of gray it was died at that time and then i stopped how to make students resilient go yeah there's a joke on that they said you stop dying i said gray matter kabhi kabhi dikhna chahiye so uh, how to make students resilient good citizens was something i thought was so important and that is the role of a teacher do we think like that do we and you can't give lectures on this you have to be the role model so with that in mind i decided i have to rule with the head and lead with the heart so if there were brats they had to be doing this in front of the dean's office but at other times i started something called the dean's tea where even the other day someone rem remembered said i was bottom 10 and i came to your house for tea so i started bringing the top 10 and the bottom 10 so that i showed them that to me all of y'all are equal and we started so it was rule with the head and lead with the heart and that's where students remembered you and at the same time being a facilitator creating a multiple so i'd seen the multidisciplinary approach so creating such a unit with facilitating a small group to have a whole this thing in today whether it's the epigenetic labs the sleep lab setting such a thing up in afmc and getting undergraduates to think out of the box because they were seeing the problems today they're all having their patents and they're started and that is where i feel iit and doctors and engineers need to come together to find our own problems we also made teaching fun like you said so this is where i there's a picture where we started teaching uh, today medical doctors are most running into problem because of communication so we started teaching them with structured you know uh, standardized family standardized this and i became the ward aya with the white this thing and we enacted and made movies to teach them and the first class was very little disheartening because when we showed everything wrong where everyone was screaming and asked the students what did you see they said the dean as aya so that was something <laughs> anyway so while that was there we also brought in heart because i felt doctors need to have today with all the allopathy homeopathy all the pathies coming in there's everything there but sympathy and empathy so i thought i should bring in the heart and started getting them to take their a uh, hypocrites oath before they went into clinical medicine through a white coat ceremony kadeva respecting the kadeva while they learnt it as a teacher as a student a ug mentorship program in a very structured way because you can't you're not born a mentor and mentoring is not about just you know getting into their lives so started a structured pr process for that with the counselor opened a crash for children but more fun was had fun being dean because while i was rooting with the head i was leading with the heart so when i wanted them to be fit we started zumba and swimming and the dean would land up any time or having a mango masti celebrating all festivals because i wanted them deeply rooted in our culture so we started doing that we started a marathon we put in a tedx talk and this was all in a span because you you know in the armed forces you come with a 
every time with an expiry date. You know you have two years, three years, and you have to do it all in that. So it was fantastic that happened, including having formal dinner practices, because these kids came from all over and were going to be suddenly getting out and becoming officers of the Indian Army. So we started having that. So the quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you find new cheese, and that's how I moved into administration full time. And it was, my believe you me, very difficult to see files in South Block with the, and handle those. I decided to look at everything like a patient and a case sheet. And then I went back to a learning phase to the operational command when 370 was abrogated. I handled medical operations in Jammu, Kashmir, and Ladakh in, with uh, you know the army commander's crash and the works. But it was excellent, and it was a learning opportunity for me. And that gave me the confidence to set up with the DRDO in three weeks jumbo hospitals and lead the operation Koji during COVID. Also, at the same time, the mathematical model worked with the Manindra Agarwal and with Vidya Sagar of IIT Hyderabad in this, and we came out with a lot of work. And that brought in the collaboration and put, put help facilitate at the PSA's office building blocks for a city cluster. So if you see, it's always jumping experiential learning which talk back, and when you move beyond your fear, you feel free. Uh, so when I really got out of uniform and had a challenge, I felt free to do what I wanted, and I went back to being the teacher. And that was the catalyst of change. Exactly December 2022, I took over, and every year, in four years, we had it spelt out, and I'm happy to say we brought about the entire change that was supposed to be in four, three years, we finished already in two and a half years. So therefore, it's a green campus with beautification. You see a dried up quarry now is a green lake or the canteen or living on campus. In fact, I was the first vice chancellor to move into a jungle campus. And people told me, nahi nahi, rauna ka in Marathi, biptya, that is leopards and snakes roam here after working hours. And I just turned around and says, then this campus needs a tigress. So I will stay right here. <laughs> so this is how, we, uh, thank you so much. And I wanted people to learn about environment. Mission life is not theoretical. But I said, let me do it so that people understand. And we have this as a complete, completely transformed, absolutely uh, you know, uh, energy uh, uh, saving uh, uh, with the, and what is important is everyone participates as Shramdan. Once a month, we all get out so that it remains plastic free. And I brought that feeling of ownership into people, not just a belonging. So this is hashtag MUHS Parivar, which has a sense of ownership. We have a summer internship project for which our students come in even to IIT. So newer innovations came in. This was the Blossom Project Village. And now we have an innovation system. And I'm very happy Sarthak is here. We've created a. Uh, a, a synops synergy of academia networking with uh, government, allied health, and uh, medical professionals. That's Sangam. So with the uh, policy department and uh, Takimi fellows and MUHS, we've created that. We've had two conferences here. Our chief secretary is here. And more important, we've created with digital, uh, because of we have a MOU here, with that uh, Koita Foundation, we've created degree plus program and the foundation course in digital health, which has been dedicated to the country by the health minister. This was just last week. So therefore, in the end, I think the message to share, to be a role model, I've been blessed and I've been lucky to have three hat, wear three hats, that of a soldier, that of a teacher, and that of a doctor. And in that, the role that's most pleasing to me is that of a teacher, because but the other two merge into bringing. So the soldier in me tells the teacher, nation first, organization subordinates next, and self is last. Smart turnout, punctuality, hard work. The doctor says compassion, caring, empathy, combination of head and heart. And therefore, the teacher will continue to have competence and knowledge is paramount and keep learning. But in the end, I'll say it's important to have a fit mind in a fit body. So if you have to be a role model, we all have to. There's not a day unless I have to catch a train to come to IIT Mumbai that I not have my yoga or exercise in the morning. And therefore, we have to get around the problem. And I'm really grateful to the director. Today, we got around one big problem, and we found a solution. So we found our ikigai. Thank you so much. My humblest this thing to my teachers. Those are my undergraduate teachers who came to bless me the day I became dean. And this, when I became vice chancellor in Nasik, was my, und uh, 
you in Kendra Vidyalaya, my chemistry teacher who read in the papers and came that day, it was the happiest moment because I'd been CBSE topper in chemistry and he heard I was coming and he came. You can't be more blessed than blessed by your teacher. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Thank you so, so much, ma'am, for the wonderful words. I now request Professor Kedare to felicitate our chief guest with a bouquet and a memento. Uh, I'd like to request our chief guest to felicitate uh, Professor Vikram Vishal, recipient of prestigious National Geoscience Award 2023 in the field of applied geology with a floral bouquet. I now request the Dean of Alumni and Corporate Relations, Professor Ravindra Gudi, to introduce the IIT Bombay International Award for Excellence in Research in Engineering and Technology. Good afternoon, and wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to introduce the IIT Bombay International Award for Excellence in Research in Engineering and Technology. Uh, this award was instituted by our distinguished alumnus, Shantanu Rastogi and Sandeep Naik. Uh, we started this award in uh, 2022, so about two years back. Uh, the purpose of the award was to recognize excellence in research in the field of engineering and technology in the developing countries of South and Southeast Asia region. And there's one award that is given out every year. Uh, the process that was carried out was that nominations were invited from all of the countries. Each of these countries, uh, uh, of course, India, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Vietnam, and Singapore. And uh, these nominations were first screened by an institute level committee followed by an apex committee at the institute. And these nominations were then uh, bubbled up to an international jury, um, which uh, evaluated all of the uh, nominations. And uh, based on that, uh, every year, of course, there is an awardee. And this year, I am honored and delighted to announce uh, that we have uh, Dr. Tony Cech from uh, the Singapore University of Technology and Design as the awardee for 2024 of the IIT Bombay International Award for Excellence in Research in Engineering and Technology. Um, just to give you a short background about Dr. Tony Chek. Dr. Chen Tony Chek received the BE and MA degrees in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from the Tokyo Institute of Technology. At MIT, he earned the PhD in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Currently, he is the Cheng Sang Man Chair Professor at the Singapore University of Technology and Design and ST Engineering Distinguished Professor. He also serves as the Director of Future Communications R&D Program, the head of the ISTD Pillar and the AI on RAN Working Group, Chair in AI RAN Alliance. His current research topics include wireless communications and networking, network intelligence, non-terrestrial networks, open radio access networks, and 6G. May I invite Dr. Tony Chek to kindly step onto the dais, and I request Professor Kedare and Dr. Madhuri Kanditkar to kindly bestow the award. So this is uh, the citation. Indian Institute of Technology Bombay confers the 
IIT Bombay International Award for Excellence in Research in Engineering and Technology, instituted by Mr. Sandeep Naik and Mr. Shantanu Rastogi on Dr. Tony Q.S. Sheikh, IEEE Fellow of Academy of Engineering, Singapore Cheng Tsang Man Chair, Professor S.T. Engineering, Distinguished Professor and Director, Future Comms, R&D program, head of ISTBD, Pillar, Singapore, University of Technology and Design, in commendation of his outstanding contributions to research in engineering and technology, given this fifth day of September 2024, I would now like to request the Dean of Faculty Affairs, Professor Neela Nataraj, to introduce Professor S.P. Sukhatme Award for Excellence in Teaching. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Uh, I'm delighted to announce the recipients of the SP, Professor S.P. Sukhatme Teaching Awards. So before the awards, I would like to talk a bit about uh, Professor S.P. Sukhatme for uh, people who don't know about him. So he could not join us today, unfortunately, because of uh, ill health. So Professor Sukhatme, uh, who is one of our former directors, uh, is a well-known sci uh, scientist of our country. He joined IIT Bombay as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in the year 1965 and was promoted as professor in 1970. He became the head of mechanical engineering department in 1973, deputy director of IIT Bombay in 1975, before he become the, became the director of the institution in the year 1995. So he retired in 2000 uh, with the title of the professor emeritus of the institution. His list of achievements is quite long, but uh, I would like to mention that uh, he was awarded the civilian honor of Padma Shri by Government of India in 2001. So the Professor S.P. Sukhatme Excellence in Teaching Award is a recognition to acknowledge and celebrate the accomplishments and contributions uh, of our colleagues. So this award aims to motivate and reward our colleagues for their outstanding efforts in imparting knowledge and inspiring students. So this award is uh, for up to 15 faculty members from 28 academic units of IIT Bombay. So making to the list of SP Sukhatme awards is extremely difficult and challenging. The award is based on consistent high evaluations, teaching evaluations by the students. So just to um, give an idea of how this is done, so we have student evaluation scores from which an excellence in teaching scores are generated using a normalization procedure. So this is because uh, we teach different kind of students at UG level, PG level, and PhD, and so on. So there is a normalization process in the beginning. The EIT awards are decided on the basis of the best 15 EIT scores in the previous 10 years, subject to the conditions that, um, that they are intended to ascertain the contribution in teaching um, in a variety of courses, and the minimum eligibility in terms of acceptable EIT score for the awards. For example, six out of the best 15 EIT scores must uh, come from the core courses, which is UG, PG, and first year courses, and so on. And a faculty member should have taught at least four distinct theory courses in the evaluation period of 10 years. The EIT awardee must have had his or her EIT score higher than the average EIT score of all faculty members of the institute, so which means people who have already received the awards as well. Now, if the 15 best EIT scores consists of shared courses, then appropriate number of additional courses from the total number of courses in the evaluation period are considered to calculate the average EIT score. So at present, the PhD courses at 800 level and courses with less than five registered students or less than five evaluations are not 
counted towards the EIT awards. So since this is like a lifetime achievement award, the cooling off period for this award is 10 years and the person should have served the institute for at least 10 years. So as you see, this is very difficult to make. So this is, and I really congratulate all the winners. Okay, so we will start with the awardees. So first I would like to um, invite Professor Alka Hingarani from IDC School of Design uh, for receiving the award. So the next awardee is Professor Shilpa Ranade from IDC School of Design, again. Now I would like to invite Professor Jayendran Venkateshwaran from the Department of uh, IEOR. Our next awardee is uh, Professor Shirish Kedare, who is our director <laughs> and from Department of Energy Science and Engineering. And let me tell you that he was not there in any evaluation process. <laughs> Next, I would like to invite Professor uh, Nangidra, Nagendra Rao Velaga from Department of Civil Engineering. Our next awardee is Professor M.J. N. V. Prasad from the Department of Metallurgical Engineering and Material Science. Next, I would like to invite Professor Maithili Vuttukuru from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Now I would like to invite Professor Rajendra Prasad Vedula from the Department of Mechanical Engineering.
The next awardee is Professor Ajit Rajvade from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Next, we have Professor uh, Ranjan Kumar Panda from Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. Now I would like to invite Professor Preeti Raman from the Department of Mathematics. Now I would like to yeah. Now uh, I would like to invite Professor Balaji Ramakrishnan from Department of Civil Engineering. Next awardee is Professor Somnath Basu from Department of Metallurgical Engineering and Material Science. He uh, is traveling today. I would yes. request someone to from the MEMS department to come in. Professor Preeta Pant. Professor Preeta Pant, is she here? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> Yeah, on behalf of yes, yes. <laughs> now I would like to invite Professor Sibiraj Baskaran Pillai from the Department of Electrical Engineering. So congratulations to all the Institute Award winners and also the Departmental Award winners. And thank you very much. Yeah, a warm welcome to everyone on this Teacher's Day function. I'm very happy to be part of this function and announce the awardees for the Dr. P.K. Patwardhan Technology Development Award. So before uh, we announce the awardee, I will talk briefly about this award. The Dr. P.K. Patwardhan Technology Development Award was instituted in 1999 based on the donation received from Dr. P. K. Patwardhan, who held the position of Head of Computer Division and Chairman Technology Transfer Group in BARC. Professor Patwardhan strived to see technology transfers from creators of technology to users to realize public good. The award is given to the best technology development effort by an individual faculty member or a group of faculty members and their team in IIT Bombay during the preceding three years. The award carries a citation as well as a cash prize. A director appointed committee consisting of a convener, the respective heads of the nominees and external subject experts recommended uh, by uh, the heads, uh, they approve this, uh, the awardees and this time the committee decided uh, to award this to two different faculty members, 
the award is this shared by the following two faculty members of our institute professor manjesh kumar hanawal department of industrial engineering and operation research for the technology titled vajra an indigenous tool for end point security as well as professor rajesh patkar department of biosciences and bioengineering for the technology titled a biostimulant based novel approach for enhanced yield and nutritional value of potato so both of them presented a well attended lecture uh, yesterday i invite both of them to come together on the stage to get the award thank you I now request the Dean of Alumni and Corporate Relations, Professor Ravindra Gudi, to introduce the Class of 1973 Research Excellence Award. Thank you. Uh, I must say that the Institute, IIT Bombay, is blessed with a very strong, passionate alumni base. Over the years, alumni have been very, very strong stakeholders, partners, supporters of the institute growth in several ways. Um, they have helped, they have worked with us to define the institute's vision. They have worked with us to establish several centers of excellence. They have worked with us to, to bring in their rich wisdom uh, in support of several programs that we offer at the institute. Uh, every year, the uh, Alumni celebrate either, I mean, they celebrate five different types of reunions. Uh, the first is a decennial reunion. The second is a silver jubilee reunion. Then we have a ruby reunion, which is 40 years. We have a golden jubilee reunion, and we have a diamond jubilee reunion as well. Uh, in fact, the first graduating batch, 1962, celebrated the diamond jubilee in 2022, uh, 60 years after they graduated and it was so and right in this very auditorium it was so uh, such a delight to see their enthusiasm coming back to their alma mater but coming back to the point here uh, uh, professor kedare mentioned about the institute receiving a bouquet of several awards two of them of course professor uh, vikram vishal and professor rohit shivastav but also yesterday we received a bouquet of uh, a lot of ina fellowships and the like while several of these awards are at a very accomplished, for a very accomplished faculty at the senior level, the 1973 batch had a very, very distinctive idea. They came up and said, why don't we build and enrich the pipeline of future such awardees of, uh, at the national level? Uh, why don't we do that and encourage distinctive research amongst assistant professors and associate professors? Start with that, incentivize them to perform well, and to promote their objective, what they did was they instituted 16 Research Excellence Awards. The 1973 batch that graduated in 20, that uh, actually celebrated their Golden Jubilee in 2023, they instituted the uh, Research Excellence Awards. I'm very delighted that two of the batchmates, maybe perhaps more, I don't know, Two of the batchmates, Mr. Raju Bhinge and Mr. Deepak Gupte, are here in amongst the audience. May I request you to kindly stand up and uh, please like to applaud their gesture and their foresight in establishing this very uh, this award with a vision to you know incentivize faculty at the assistant and associate professor level to achieve excellence in research and you know create impact across. Uh, both at the national and global scale. Thank you for the 1973 batch for, for this visionary. Yeah. Uday, Professor Uday Apte, I'm going to acknowledge him a little later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, 
So, uh, as I said, uh, this uh, uh, awards, the set of awards is, is called the C1973 Faculty Award for Research Excellence. Uh, these are 16 awards that are given across three categories, basic sciences, engineering sciences and design, applied sciences, humanities and management, under these three categories. Uh, the uh, process that was followed to identify uh, distinguished faculty at the assistant and associate level, uh, there are two institute level committees, the first one that screened and then the, the, there was a second institute level committee that consisted of um, uh, faculty from each of these areas. And then of course there was an apex committee that also involved external accomplished alumni who basically looked at each of these nominations and uh, finalized this award. I must at this point acknowledge Professor Uday Apte, um, who is one of, the, uh, one of the batchmates of the 1973 batch, and several of the uh, institute level committees for their time, for their effort, and for their mentorship in trying to uh, look at all of these nominations and bringing up uh, the final list of the awardees, which I'm shortly going to announce. Uh, I, will, I will request uh, Professor Kedare and Dr. Madhuri Kanditkar to kindly uh, bestow these awards while I call upon each of my faculty colleagues and read the citation. Uh, in no particular order, purely alphabetical by the last name, I guess, um, I'll call out first Professor Amrita Bhattacharya from the Department of Metallurgical Engineering and Material Science. This, this award is citation uh, in recognition of her excellence in research and innovation in the areas of computational methods, molecular dynamics for investigating materials phenomena, thermoelectrics, and spintronics. I would now like to invite Professor Ankit Jain from Department of Mechanical Engineering to step onto the dais. This award is bestowed for his excellent research and innovation in the areas of thermal transport in semiconducting solids. It's coordinated. Okay, uh, I would now like to invite Professor Arnab Datta from the Department of Chemistry to receive the award. And this award is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in green hydrogen, CO2 capture and conversion, metal air batteries, and biomass conversion. Next, I'd like to invite Professor Shobhna Kapoor from the Department of Chemistry. This award is in recognition of our excellence in research and innovation in membrane biophysics and the role of lipids in diseases such as tuberculosis. Next, I'd like to invite Professor Anshuman Kumar from the Department of Physics. This award is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in quantum and 2D materials with photonics with a focus on applications in energy, defense, and healthcare. May I invite Professor Varun Bhale Rao to kindly step onto the dais. 
this award is in recognition of his excellence in the broad area of astrophysics in general and building robotic telescopes in particular. May I invite Professor Shuddhasil Sen from the Humanities and Social Sciences Department. This award in his, is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in the areas of literature and music. Next, I'd like to invite Professor Kartikeyan Lanka from the Center of Studies in Resources and Engineering. This is in recognition of his excellence, primarily focused on soil, water, plant, and carbon interactions. May I invite Professor Sashi Ranjan Kumar from the Department of Aerospace Science and Engineering. Yeah. This is in recognition of his excellence in areas of guidance and control in aerospace engineering. May I invite Professor Venkat Gundabala from Chemical Engineering. This is in recognition of his excellence in the areas of microfluidics for biology and biomaterials for health. Thank you. May I next invite Professor Jaydeepta Ghosh from the Department of Civil Engineering. This is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in the field of reliability in structural engineering. May I next invite Professor Kasturi Saar to step up on the dais from the Department of Electrical Engineering. This is in recognition of our excellence in research and innovation in quantum sensors utilizing nitrogen vacancy in diamond, advancing nanoscale magnetic resonance imaging. May I invite Professor Preeti Jyoti from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I think she is absent, but her mother would receive the award. This is in, this is in recognition of her excellence in research and innovation in speech and language technologies for low resource settings and speech recognition for accented speakers and code mixed vocabulary. May I next invite Professor Venkat Sairanathan Ramadesigan 
from the Department of Energy Sciences and Engineering. <laughs> this is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in his contributions in research in the field of batteries and system integration, fuel cells, long-term energy sustainability in energy. May I next invite Professor Harish Fuleria from the Environmental Science and Engineering Department. This is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in areas of indoor air quality in urban slums, real world traffic emissions, atmospheric particle toxicity, energy use, potential in informal sectors. Um, Professor Sovik Banerjee from the Department of Economics. Uh, is he? Okay, so maybe we, we can invite uh, Professor Narayanan to kindly receive the award on his behalf. This is in recognition of his excellence in research and innovation in the area of disease modeling. Thanks, Professor Kedari. Thanks, Dr. Madhuri Kanitkar. I would also like to thank the offices of the Dean Faculty and the various institute level committees for finalizing these awards. Again, my sincere thanks to the 1973 batch for this visionary and uh, very generous uh, act of theirs to generate the pipeline of future, I would say, Padma awardees and the like. Thank you so much. Yeah. I would like to request Professor Kedare to say a few words. So this is uh, off the schedule. And uh, so I will like to just uh, right, congratulate the fellows, mention them. And uh, so this INAE fellowship has been bestowed on three of our alumni and four of our faculty. So uh, three of our alumni are not here. Uh, that is uh, Dr. Sharat Saraf, who is also our chairman. And uh, yes, he is a uh, 1970, 69 batch. He's 69 mechanical engineering batch. And uh, Mr. Sudarshan Saraf, his brother actually, and 74 batch, 71 batch, electrical. Electrical. So they have been given this fellowship in different categories. I'm not going into it. And Bhavish Agarwal, who is a co-founder of Ola. So these are the three alumni that we have got fellowship of uh, INAE. Uh, INA. And then four of our faculty uh, are uh, there. So one is Professor Pratibha Sharma. May I request her to be here? So she is from energy department. She, energy, science. energy science and engineering department. She works in uh, hydrogen, hydrogen storage, and uh, she heads the heads the center for hydrogen storage, All India Center, sponsored by DST. And we have Professor Subhimal Ghosh, civil engineering. Is he there? He is not there. Anybody from civil, head civil, is not there, Tom. OK, but Subhimal Ghosh, civil engineering department. And so he has got this fellowship. Amitabh Dev is also not there, I think, mechanical department. And uh, he has been a very senior professor, also uh, bearing the responsibilities of, say, for example, gate. He was a gate chairman, he was dean academic, 
and uh, lastly Priti Jyoti and so I'll request her mother to be here on her behalf. <laughs> she has also been a fellow, young fellow of INAE. Yes. Why not father? Yes, please. That's it, right? And uh, lastly, maybe uh, I should mention that our former BOG chairman, Dilip Sangvi, has also got the fellowship. So uh, all these are infected by IIT Bombay. So congratulations to them. Over to you. It is my privilege and honor to extend a heartfelt vote of thanks to everyone who made today's event possible. I take this opportunity to thank to to thank all the dignitaries on the dais whose guidance and support have been instrumental in organizing this event. I would like to express our deep gratitude to our chief guest for taking the time out of her busy schedule to grace this occasion. Your presence and insightful words have added immense value to our program. May I please request uh, all the uh, SP Sukhatme awardees, PK Patwadan awardees, and the international awardees to uh, come to the desk for a group photo, please. Uh, meanwhile, the refreshments and tea are being served. I request all the guests to uh, kindly join us for the same outside.